Mobile Network One presents the Comedy Corner. Oh, I don't like that no more. You make me happy. Cut it off. Cut it off. Y'all, how y'all doing? Y'all good? Yeah. Like this side of the family don't like this side. Y'all don't go to y'all job work soon as y'all get there. Yeah, yeah, I'm that guy. I throw packets of ketchup in their bags. <laughs> I seen I seen a ketchup pack the other night. It said Burger Chef on it. They're not coming back. He was in school, and it was kind of a way of getting out of trouble. And one of my teachers really recognized it, and she kind of let me have a little time in class. Wow. Yeah, so it was cool. Where all the single ladies at? Single ladies, single ladies? There ain't that many of them. Are they watching the coats, too? They be bragging about all the shit they got and how they doing it. When you get to their house, they ain't got none of the shit they said they had. <laughs> like furniture. <laughs> I had standing up the other night. Yeah. <laughs> I say, I want to relax. She say, well, let's lean on the wall. I say, ah, oh. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> Do you pick on the audience? If they pick on me? <laughs> no, I don't pick on the audience. That's, they come to see, see it. One thing about comedy is people pay to come and see your creativity, not to come and see you heckle or go back and forth with people in the audience. So I always, be appreciative to the people that come out so I get them a show. But if you do say something, I hit you and get right off you. Do you have to change up your jokes since, like for different audiences since you're down south sometimes and as opposed to being in the Midwest? No, not really because everybody go through life the same. You know what I'm saying? We just do things differently. So I try to touch topics where you can relate to it. Just basically like bringing you into my world. If I can bring you into my world and you incline your ears to listen, then you're going to laugh at it. You know, when you don't laugh, then I know I'm doing something wrong, so I get to throw that joke away. Huh? <laughs> when y'all go and get my phone, your mama tripping. A black man will go to bed butt naked, step right out the shower. This will still be clipped to his side. I'm going to bed, don't f with my phone, I ain't playing. <laughs> Fellas, you ever leave your phone at home by mistake? That nigga say, hell no. Ladies, you ever see that your man and left his phone by mistake? You can't believe it. You clean up, you vacuum, and you see this shit. I know damn well. What can we see coming up from Jeff B. in the future? Well, I just uh, got a deal on the table right now with MTV. Uh, we, yeah, for Comedy Central. Okay. It's a show that's going to go to all of the clubs, not the clubs, but the banquet halls and the you know, the back bars that, that mm -hmm. comedians do it, and we're trying to find the funniest person in America that's not, you know what I'm saying, that's not known. Okay. So, you know, so that's that's the deal right there. So we, I'm good, we good. Check out the Wicked Circus Rock and Roll of Comedy later tonight at Morty's. And you don't want to miss what's coming up on December 1st with Straight Up Stupid, featuring the always hilarious Miss Pat.